hello. Um, it's going to be a busy day at the studio. It is the day after my big glazing day, loading the kiln day. I have to basically clean up everything that I left messy yesterday. <laughs> All my underglazes and glazes are just out and about. And then I need to pack orders. I'm packing up all the gals from the Take It Easy collection and I need to send a few emails and that's it. I guess that's all I'm doing today. Um, which doesn't sound like a lot but it will take all, all day. I think I have about 22 packages to actually ship and then two that are being picked up. I love when I get local orders because it's just so much less work <laughs> to pack stuff up. Yeah, I've been feeling like a little bit bleh about my YouTube channel lately. I just feel like, I don't know if vlogs get boring. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of the same thing over and over again, but I guess also sometimes that is very comforting, kind of knowing what you're gonna get. I was trying to film a lot of the glazing painting process yesterday, but I just, I don't know how other people do it. I just don't have like the right setup for it. I don't even know how I used to do it. I have my same tripod and my same like gorilla tripod that wraps around a regular tripod, but I just couldn't get the angle quite right. What else would you guys like to see? Like, would you like a dedicated glaze day video or like a dedicated throwing video? I don't know. I was at a point where I was feeling very inspired about all these videos I wanted to make and then I think I'm going through a phase of feeling like insecure about the content that I'm putting out, um, especially on here. And it's like such a weird feeling because I think of myself as first and foremost an artist, not a content creator, but they do go hand in hand these days, you know? It's very much you need to be a content creator to get your work out there to be seen by people um, in order for them to purchase your work. Yeah, just trying to trying to figure out that balance. Really, really, really trying to practice gratitude these days, every single day. It really is a practice. Like you have to make yourself um, list off and think of all the good things that you have in your life and remember how lucky you are, um, even if you're not feeling particularly lucky that day. Anyway, just some pre-work morning thoughts and me procrastinating on cleaning.
think by the time that this um, comes out, uh, this collaboration will be live or the giveaway will at least be live. So I have these two that I'm shipping for the giveaway. I need to throw, I'm gonna throw 10 more today. I need to send eight more, but I'm just gonna throw extras because it's always good to have extras. Um, I'm just packing those up. I'm just doing like a throwing day and then I will be spending all week painting customs. And then on Thursday, we are going to Canmore for a little bit of a in the mountains getaway with Remy. We're at a pet friendly hotel. Um, Kayla's gonna go golf, we're gonna go hike and just have like a really nice end of summer weekend. It's um, the long weekend, so looking forward to it. Looking forward to a productive and fun week. But yeah, lots to look forward to. It's starting to feel like fall here, which I'm actually very excited about. We have had so many heat waves this year, kind of on and off. Yeah, I love summer, but 30 degrees plus is not for me. I'm already a very sweaty person, so I'm really excited for fall. I'm excited for jacket season to also be coming back, jackets and sweaters and all that good stuff. Fetty cups for the pre-order and I'm gonna try and finish up painting as much <laughs> of the bisque that I have on the shelf that I can. Look at all the customs so far. We've got a little crab. We've got a nice like garden theme going on here. Cute. I've shared a couple of these on Instagram but some of them are gifts so I haven't wanted to share 
all of them. Pizza, I think I already took some pictures of this one and shared it on Instagram. A veggie pizza because they're vegetarian. Tigers, constellations. Ooh, a fun lizard that looks like a skink. Um, I did work on a document in my previous life as a wildlife biologist on the five line skink in Ontario. And then, oh yeah, this was a tiger orca fruit combo. I have seven more at home that are just in a bin. And I have a couple that I'm gonna add little glaze accents to. Like this one is mermaid themed. And I think some glaze accents would really make it pop because I wanna make the shells a little shimmery. That's the plan for that one. Imagine if I dropped one of these now. Um, and then there is this hummingbird hibiscus one for a friend's mom. And I'm gonna do the wings in glaze as well, I think. Thank you.